Welcome to Web Squared 5 Tutorials. We are going to see how to use the development tool, the Studio. In this video, you will learn how to create a Web Square project and pages, how to add Web Square components, how to use the views provided on the Studio, and how to view the pages on the browsers. This is the Studio. Go to the Project Explorer on the left. Here, you can create Web Square Project and the Pages. Right click and select New and Web Square Project. Enter the name of the Web Square Project. Click Finish. A project is created. Now, right click the project and select New. And Web Square page. Enter the name of the page. You don't need to enter the extension. XML extension will be automatically added. The page has been created. Let us see how we can add Web Square components to the page. Select the palette. Here, you can see the list of the components that WebSquare provides. At the moment, there are more than 80 components. You can search the component. We want to find the input box. So, we enter IN. Select Input Box. When the pop up shows up, click OK. The input box is added on the design view, and you can resize the component by dragging it. Now, let us add another component, calendar. Enter CA. Click calendar. You can decide where to put the calendar, before or after the input box. Choose where to put and click OK. The calendar is added. Click the input box. Go to the property view. The list of the properties of the input box is displayed here. Let us set the value of the placeholder property. Search placeholder. Enter the value of the placeholder. For example, enter your name. Save and click the red arrow button. The page is successfully rendered. You can see the placeholder Enter Your Name is displayed in the input box. You can add browsers to view the pages and set a default browser. Click the earth-like button and select Setting. Enter the name of the browser to add and select the execution file of the browser. We are adding the Chrome browser. Click OK. You can select one of the added browsers as the default browser. In this case, select Chrome. Now let us click the red arrow button again. The page is rendered on the Chrome browser. In order to use other browsers than the default browser, click the browser that you want to use. Click Explore and the page is displayed on the Explore. Click Script View. This is where you can define the business logic of the page. Two functions are initially created. Each is to be executed upon loading of the page and unloading of the page. Let us add an alert to be displayed upon loading of the page. Save. Go back to the previously opened browser and reload it. The alert is displayed upon loading of the page. Select the Data Collection view. Here, by clicking the new button, you can add the data collection, such as a data list or a data map.
about which we will cover later. Now, select the Submission view. You can define settings which are necessary for the day TAL submission. We will also have a separate session about the day TAL submission in the later parts of this tutorial. Lastly, the source view. The source view is the result of the works you have done in for other views, design, script, data collection, and submission. They are combined into XML code. It is strongly recommended that you see the source view for checking only. In this video, we have covered. You select a component from the palette and add it into the design view. Set the properties of each component on the property view. Add the business logic in the script view. And the source view is for checking only. Thank you for watching.